Yeah. So um, back in February, I, I put on a retreat for Native women and girls as an intergenerational and intertribal retreat for, um, you know, it was to, I, I took them back to my homeland, back to Oahu. And, um, you know, these were women and girls from nations all over the world, including, um, you know, the Lakota and Dakota nations in um, the Midwest. I had uh, members of the Kumeyaay Nation in Southern California. Um, and again, from all over the world. And I took them back home to Hawaii to uh, put them through a women's retreat that would um, encompass self-love, self-discipline, um, self-defense, and uh, you know, protection of the sacred, uh, which included our land and you know our bodies as as women. So anyway, that was um, that was part of the my scholarship program that I do outside of the cage. And unfortunately, we. Um, yeah, we haven't been able to do anything because uh, what my scholarship provides is travel opportunities for these girls. Um, and um, again, we're not allowed, to, we were not able to do that um, for the rest of 2020. But, um, you know, I have talked about my next um, goal or my next endeavors. I do want to rent a trailer or um, a big RV or something, and I want to do a cross country road trip and visit reservations and put on free uh, self-defense seminars for the children and for the women out there. Um, and I have been able to do uh, several self-defense seminars during the pandemic on, on several reservations. And I, I have another one lined up after this fight. And um, yeah, I just, I don't charge anything for these seminars because uh, as long as it's, it's involving native women and girls, because statistically, um, that demographic faces the highest rates of violence. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't charge anything because you know, they, that's not how I make my money. Um, and this is how I, I give back. So keep an eye out. Hopefully I can do it in 2021, my cross country road trip to visiting um, reservations across the nation.